there, you guys. My name is Brian Vaughn, and I am excited to do our first online how to clog video. Now, this is gonna be a whole series of videos, everything from the very, very basic steps of clogging to the very, very, very most advanced. We're gonna have special guest stars come in and teach steps. I'm gonna teach steps. Today, we are going to learn five ways to do the basic shuffle step. Now, let me put this out there. Number one, I wanna make sure everybody clears the space around them. Make sure the floor is clear so you don't trip. Number two, if you are not wearing tap or clogging shoes, make sure you are wearing solid shoes that are tied tightly. Like a good solid tennis shoe is okay for a beginner if you don't have tap shoes. Although ideally you would love to get a pair of nice clogging shoes with some good taps like these. Um, so that said, there's gonna be five ways to do this first basic step in clogging. All right, now I'm gonna face you at first, so I'll be doing mirror image. I'll be doing the right the right side, even though I want you to do your left side. Just the basic understanding of clogging rhythm is it has this really exciting driving downbeat rhythm, just goes and one, two, three. It's always got an upbeat and a downbeat. The and is the up, the number is the down, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you just can bounce to the beat of the music, you're probably going to be able to clog. Um, so let's just do that one one more time. Bouncing eight times. We're, I'll say five, six, ready, go. And on the and, you go up. Five, six, ready, go. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Now, we're going to start off very simple. We're going to march eight times, starting with your left foot. Now, marching is different than walking because you're going to Bring your knee up higher and stomp your foot a little heavier than normal. So don't just meander like this. I want you to pick it up. We're gonna start with your left foot. When I say five, six, ready, go. Five, six, eight, marches, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty simple, right? Basically all this is is uh, walking and clapping in rhythm. If you can walk and clap and learn to do it in rhythm, you're gonna be set. So that's the first way to do the shuffle steps, just regular marches. The second way is to add a slide to those marches where you're hopping. It's almost like doing the shuffle from the 80s or the default dance from Fortnite, whatever you wanna call it from your generation. So to show you what I mean, I'm gonna start by regular marching four times and then I'm gonna add a hop. You're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the first way is regular marching. The second way is to add a hop and do the shuffle or the default dance. So let's try those two together. Eight marches, eight slide marches. Five, six, left foot march. One, two, three, four, five, six, slide march. And one and two and three and four. So you end it with your right foot down, your left foot ready to go up. The third way to do these is to do what I call a kick step. Instead of bringing your foot up on the march, you're gonna bring it forward. Kick one, kick two, kick three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, when you do that, you can do it like a low impact like I just did, or you can do it more high impact like an aerobics class where you kick it. Right? Um, I'll, I'll add one little thing about clogging too. Most of the time, most of the time at the beginning level, when one foot goes down, the other one's going up. So you've got a dramatic weight change. So when I do those kick steps, kick one, I want to pick up my other foot on the number, and two. So let's try eight more kick steps. Five, six, left foot, go. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, so the first way to do them is to march. The second way to do them is to slide march or shuffle. And the third way is the kick steps. So we're gonna do all three in a row. Eight of each, starting with your left foot. Five, six, left foot march. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slide march, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kick step, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now you can rewind.
find this and practice that a few times. All right, here's the next one. The fourth one is gonna be called a heel step. Instead of kicking your foot in the air, you're gonna kick your foot to your heel. You're gonna go heel, then your right. Right foot step, again, again. Now we're gonna try eight of them. Ready, go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So version one is the marches. Version two is the slide marches. Version three is the kick step. Version four is the heel step. So let's try them all together. Five, six, eight, marches, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, slide march, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, kick step, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, heel step, ready, go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and stop. Whoa, you're doing great. Again, you can rewind this as many times as you want to go through that. Now this last one, we're gonna take just a little longer to explain it. This is the hardest version, and this is the one where you start to get to make some of those fun, exciting sounds that clogging has. What you're gonna do is we're gonna try this two ways. We're gonna start by going very slow. You're gonna lift up your left foot. You're gonna brush your toe forward. Go brush, brush your toe back, back, and then step down. Then you do your right foot, front, back, Left foot, front, back, step. Right foot, front, back, step. Left foot. Again. Two more. Right foot, last one. All right, I turned to the side so you can see my toe a little better. Let's try those again. Now that is the meat of all of your clogging steps you're ever gonna learn. It is the heart and soul of traditional and advanced clogging, right? Doubles, double doubles, shuffle steps. It's, and it's, it's also in tap, it's also in Irish. They use it in all these percussive dance styles. So what we're gonna do with that shuffle step now is instead of practicing slow, I'm gonna teach you a trick to work on getting it faster. I'm gonna call these floppy toes so a shuffle step is slow like this. Well, it's not slow, but when you do it slow, it's like this. A floppy toe is just the front back part, practicing it faster. So we're gonna go front back, front back, front back, step. Do your right foot. Front back, front back, front back, step. Do your left. One more on your right for practice. Now you can stop this, rewind it, practice that over and over because the faster you can do that, the sooner you'll be able to do stuff like that. So let's try that floppy toe one more time. We're gonna do seven of them and we're gonna get faster every time. Right, uh, left foot first, ready? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down. Uh, right foot, start slow, ready, and. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, step. Again, left foot, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, step. One more time. And you get that nice clean sound by hitting what I call the hot spot of your tap, which is that spot right in the center between the two rivets on your steel tap. Now, one more tip about floppy toes. To get really fast, you wanna move your leg less. Obviously, the more you move your leg, the longer it's gonna take time. So pretty soon, the reason I call them floppy toes is because you're just gonna be bouncing your foot like I'm doing with my hand. It's gonna go where it just reflexively bounces. So you're gonna be get it loose. So take that uh, left foot and just go shake, 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 other foot, ready, go. In the air, one, wiggle, three, four, five, six, seven, again. Actually, let's not do it again, let's do it with our foot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push it and try to let it bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, three, one, two, three, step. One, two, three, step. 
one, two, three, step. Now one, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step. Five, six, seven, eight. Boom. So we now have five ways to do the shuffle step. We have marches starting with your left foot. We have slide marches starting with your left foot. We have kick steps starting with your left foot. We have heel steps starting with your left foot. And we have shuffle steps starting with your left foot. So we're gonna do all five of those right now and then we're gonna try it with some music, okay? Here we go. I'll face the camera. Um, you're gonna start with your left foot. I'll start with my right. Here we go. Five, six, eight, marches slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now slide march, shuffle. One, two, three, four, now kick step go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out of heel. Heel one, two, three, four, five, six. Shuffle step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, at the end, I'm going to show you one last thing before we end, wind up this video and do it with music. And that is to get really aggressive. You can do the shuffles just like I did, or you can get really aggressive and make them way more exciting by adding the same hop you did on those slide marches or the shuffle to your shuffles. So when we're slide marching, my bottom foot is always moving, right? But when we did the shuffle step, we weren't doing that. So the, the trick I do sometimes with my students is to get them to do slide marches right into the shuffle so that the bottom foot can, continues to drag slide with those shuffle steps. I'll show you. So I'm going to do four marches sliding and four shuffle steps. Watch this. Ready, march. One, two, three shuffle steps. So you can try that with eight and eight. Let's do it together. Left foot. Five. Six, eight, marches sliding. One, two, three, four, five, six, shuffle step with the slide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna grab some music. We're gonna try it right, you guys. All right, you guys, we got some music here. You know, this is some royalty-free music, but you can use any music you want to use. Whatever your favorite dance song is, the song that changed my life when I first started clogging was called Jump For My Love by the Pointer Sisters. So pick a song that makes you feel good and let you have some fun. I'm going to turn on this song. I'm going to keep it slow. We're going to do all five versions of the shuffle slowly, and we're going to do them twice through. That's eight marches, eight slide marches, eight kick steps, eight heel steps, and eight shuffle steps. And we'll do it twice all the way through that way. All right, now remember, I want you to keep, I'm gonna turn this on. I want you to keep your feet close together so that your center of gravity, the point at which something will balance, is easy to find. And keep your core wrapped around your back so you're not swaying your back out. You wanna stand up strong. Um, the only time we actually stand up truly straight is before we start. Once we start, we'll keep our knees bent. Find that up and down beat. More counts, and then we're gonna start. I'm sorry, eight more after this. Here we count it out loud. One, two, three, four, eight marches. Left foot first, regular march. Left foot first. Five, six. Now slide. 
Check out some of our other videos. Have a great day.